What's up, fam? It's your big bro, Joy. Welcome back to the channel. Much love and light to everybody out there. Hope y'all having a blessed and wonderful day. If y'all watching this on Monday, um, happy Monday. Hope you guys had an awesome weekend and wish you guys an awesome week ahead, okay? Uh, thank my OGs for your continued love and support. I really do appreciate everything y'all do. Over here and on the positive vibes y'all bring. And uh, welcome to the channel. Any new viewers, if you liking what we are uh, putting down over here, you liking the vibes, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We love to have you over here. It's all about empowerment, bringing clarity into your life, you know, and uh, moving forward in our lives and getting us unstuck and uh, moving forward. OK, so uh, before we get started, let's go ahead and cleanse the energy out here. <clears throat> We are ushering in positivity, clarity, uh, forward movements, being able to let go of the past, being able to let go of things of the past, people, places, and things, knowing when it's time to let go, knowing when it's time to let bygones be bygones, forgiving who we need to forgive, including ourselves, and moving forward in our lives, okay? Not... Um, not looking at what what is that like looking not looking at the glass like as half empty but looking at it as half full you know what i'm saying and just having more having positivity and having um hope for your life uh from this day forward okay started off with some messages here first and foremost i got that good news is coming okay we got some good news that's on the way for for the collective this good news could affect your life in many different ways okay uh that good news may show up for us in in um different areas of our lives okay that same good news may be different for each and every person or it may be similar you know what i'm saying but either way be on the lookout for something good you hearing about something Hearing about some good news that will positively affect you, okay? Um, ooh, what else we got? Oh, wow, yo. <laughs> wow. We got some sort of, um, there was some sort of, uh, there was some individual uh, karmic that was involved in this uh, connection or um, involved in this situation in some sort of way. I'm just not seeing this one, you know what I'm saying? There's some karmic involvement in your situation, but I feel like if somebody was, trying to do if somebody was doing something to you if somebody was trying to hold you back if somebody was trying to bind you in some sort of way if somebody was trying to uh put illusions on you or anything that's preventing you from moving forward you're going to receive some good news in that area okay you are going to be in, wow look at this y'all i didn't even know look at this on both decks that i have witnessing the karma of your enemies y'all about the somebody you about to witness your enemies receiving karma and it's not about us laughing in their face this is just letting you know. This is just letting you know what I'm what I'm getting right now. This is letting you know that for every action that you make, for every action that you do, it's gonna be a reaction. You might get away with something one day, and then you might not get nothing, you might not get it, might not come back to you that same moment, but it's gonna come back to you, okay? I'm getting this is sending out a message loud and clear. That what you do, the energy, the energy that you put out into the to the atmosphere, to the universe, it's gonna come back to you whether it's whether it's good, whether it's good or bad. You feel me? Witnessing the karma of your enemies, you will witness your enemies receiving karma. So somebody, okay, you got somebody who you are going to see. You might hear, you might hear it. You might hear about somebody stopped, and I'm not. I'm not saying that somebody's karma is good news. You know what I'm saying? Yo, order in the court. I'm not saying that somebody's bad karma is good news, but what I'm saying is 
the good news is that this person can no longer affect you. This individual, whoever this specific person was, an entity or whatever the hell it was, that they were not successful in trying to do what they were trying to do towards you. Well, whoever and whatever this is. Yeah, because you guys are breaking illusions. You're breaking generational curses. Some of this stuff that was on the collective was there for centuries. You feel me? Some people were sent towards you to reinforce these generational curses. That's these karmics. That's somebody who was manipulating the energy. A karmic involvement. That means they got their hands all in the pot. They had their hands all in your pot. Trying to stop you. Trying to put you in a low vibration. Somebody about to go to jail. Okay? Somebody's about to be in a physical jail or they're going to be in a spiritual jail. They wanted you in that spiritual and that, that physical or spiritual jail so that you can move forward. So that you can receive what is rightfully yours. So that you cannot receive what's rightfully yours for you guys here, okay? We got your ops, your enemies is receiving their karma, right? In whatever form it's going to hit them in. But you are about to start a brand new journey. You are on a brand new path. This is a new day, a new start for you. We got an invitation coming here. I'm going to see what this invitation is. And we got somebody paying it, somebody uh, spying on you through tarot. My thing is, don't spy on us through tarot. Spy on yourself and see what's about to come down the pipeline for you. See what karma's about to hit you. I was about to say sometimes, but a lot of times people be worried about the wrong. You're worried about the wrong stuff. While, you, while they sitting looking at us, that karma about the boomerang and bust them in the back of their head. See what I'm talking about? It's like, that's why I told y'all to stay in y'all lane. Focus on yourself. Don't worry about the next man and the next woman and what they got going on and what, what they're doing. Because if you're so busy focusing on somebody else's household, somebody else's life, how can you protect your own? How can you prepare for what's, what's to come in your own? You don't know what's coming. You don't know what's, what, what's coming towards you or what's about to happen because you're so focused on, the, on somebody else. And that's what's happening to these people. They so busy worrying about you. They so busy worrying about what's coming in your life. Some of these people even try to send you some sort of invitation to get you caught up in something. Yo, what else is this, yo? What else is this? Okay. We got to pay attention to your circle. There's somebody within, somebody within your circle is about to start having some bad times. Some bad. And I... It, it, I was going to say I hate to say this, but I really don't hate to say it. it is what the hell it is. You feel me? It's, it's the truth. You feel me? Order in the court. It's the truth. Somebody in your circle is about to start having it rough and tough. You feel me? They may even call you crying. Wanting your help. For some of y'all, this is going to be in your job. This is a co-worker. Somebody who was in your circle. When I say in your circle, that's co-workers too. Who have access to you, who you work with on a, on a daily basis. Somebody is about to start. Uh, somebody, either somebody is somebody at, at your job or somebody who's within, within your minute circles about to start having. This is the area where they're about to start being negatively affected in. Yeah. This right here. This is the area they're about to start seeing negative stuff happen to them in. But you, on the other hand, your, your career vibes is on the way up. Yeah. You guys are letting go of bad habits and bettering yourself. You know, you you are getting out of your own way, not being your own, like stop being your own worst enemy. Taking accountability for your own actions and not and not actually like blaming everybody else for, for how your life is going. Because at some point, 
we have control over certain things. I know some things are out of our control, but there are certain other things that we have control over. You feel me? Like, let's say if there's a karmic involved in a situation or you hobnobbing with the wrong people, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you have a, a say on whether or not you're going to uh, open yourself up to that person or be in that person's life or in their space. Hell, you could be living with somebody because I know people in the comments are talking about, well, I can't leave because I live with them. But you can you can uh, withdraw. You, you can pull yourself back away from uh, involve yourself with them. You can live peacefully. You can choose to live harmoniously with a person that you're living with. That means like you're just not reacting to them people. You're not reacting to them. You stay in your own bubble, stay in your own lane. And you're working. You're working. Yo, I don't know who this for, yo. Sorry to that man, to this lady right here, but I just heard get off your ass and work and and so you can work and get yourself up out of that situation. I don't know who or in the car. I don't know who that was for, but that's what I heard. Don't shoot the messenger because this messenger will bust back at you. You feel me? It is what it is. I'm just I'm just letting you know. It said letting go of bad habits. Some of y'all, y'all bad habits could be you being you not taking you not taking action. You're not taking accountability for your own life. You're saying you 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 keeping yourself in a bad situation in a bad predicament, and then you blaming the other person. Well, they, well, they, well, they. Well, what about you? What are you doing to keep yourself in that situation? You feel me? Are you exploring your options? Are you even if it's going to take a year or two, whatever, to get yourself out of the situation? What are you doing to to to, to get that ball rolling? You feel me? Other than complaining. Other than looking at yourself like as you the victim, because at some point you're gonna have to stop complaining. At some point, people around you are not gonna want to hear you complain no more about the same thing over and over and over and over. They're gonna be like, "Yo, all you do, all you want to do is complain. All you want to do is complain. You ain't really doing trying to do nothing to 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 fix your situation or to to help yourself out." And that's what we doing. We are looking at ourselves in the mirror and saying, "Yo, what am I doing?" Uh, or am am I doing something that's keeping things how they are? Is there anything that I can be doing to uh, change my situation? And that's what we're breaking out of. We're breaking out of uh, uh, this codependency with this, uh, and which is a generational curse. Okay, we're breaking out of this uh, victim mentality, this victimhood, which is part of that uh, generational curse. We're no longer allowing ourselves or no, no longer seeing ourselves as a victim, as if we helpless. We're, we're seeing the truth and seeing how strong we are, seeing how powerful we are. You know what I'm saying? And that where there's a will, there's a way. It's all a matter of what you're willing to sacrifice and how much hard work you're willing to do. If, if, it, if it even does, if it even requires hard work, what you're willing to do to help yourself out. You feel me? And we're letting go of those bad habits that, that, that kept us in situations like that. Or that even it, it could be a matter of we moving out of the need to try to 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 to, to want to fight all the time, want to argue all the time or want to prove ourselves all the time. We're moving out of that energy and moving it into more. So, you know what? Mm, I'm just going to go with the flow. Um, I'm going to create a peaceful environment for myself. I'm going to, um, you know what I'm saying, create peace and, and harmony around me. And uh, I'm going to let you have it. I'm going to let you win. You know, because it's, it's, it's like a, I feel that like some of y'all was uh, coming across people where you had like a battle, battle of egos. Like, in the battle of egos, who really, who really wins at the end of the day? All y'all doing is arguing over dumb shit that you, that you can't really do nothing. Like, how is it going to help you at the end of the day? You feel me? It's like, come on now. Comment down below if y'all ready to move on beyond arguing people over dumb stuff. Like, comment down below if y'all ready to go. Yeah, it's like letting go of your own bad habits. It's like getting out of our own ways and, 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 and to stop procrastinating. To stop talking about what you're going to do. Well, what you're going to owe. Oh, I got this idea. God has given you idea after idea. Well, somebody out there is getting idea after idea after idea that can help uh, propel you forward. But you but you say, oh, I'm going to do it. Okay, one day. One day I'm going to do this. One day I'm going to do that. But you'll never do it, though. So why, 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 why even talk about it if you're never going to do it? Shut your mouth and start doing. You know what I'm saying? Say less and do more. You feel me? Yeah. Somebody needs to say that. Say less and do more. And stop telling people what you're going to do. Do it. 
Let your actions, let the product of whatever you do, do all the talking. Let your success do all the talking. Not your mouth, you feel me? And I know we get when we get ideas, we get this inspiration, you know, for spirit. We be like, oh yeah, wow, wow, wow. And we see the dream and we see the possibilities and we get excited. And then you want to tell the world, no, nah, that's not what you want to do. You want to keep it to yourself and you want to actually follow the guided action that you're given to bring that dream to life because you don't want nobody else putting their energy, putting their energy and their hands on that. And that's when we that's what some of y'all, some of y'all do and some of us do, me included, or get other people involved in your situation, t- telling them your dreams, telling them your goals. Telling them your plans, what you plan on doing, and now you got a karmic involved in your situation trying to manipulate your energy. But that's part of the lesson that we were meant to learn right now, too. Is that keep, keep, you don't put all your information on the internet. Don't be telling everybody all your information. I know some people, they like to say, oh, I'm an open book. You can be an open book to your own detriment, you feel me? How are you an open book? Are you an open book in a way to where where you're not telling you're not giving people ammunition to use against you? You're not revealing your own Achilles heel. Like you're not giving people, you know what I'm saying? You're not showing them what 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 what, what your kryptonite is, you feel me? It's like some people be talking so much and be telling it all their business and be telling all their dreams to the wrong people. It's like you you feeding the enemy, you giving the enemy ammunition to use against you. You letting the enemy know your dreams, your hopes, your inspirations. Let them know what you're about to do. Okay, about oh on Monday I'm about to do this. I'm about to go to the place on one at one p.m. I'm about to fill these papers out. I'm about to da 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 da. You giving the whole blueprint. You feel me? You giving them the whole blueprint. It's time for us to stop doing that. You can't trust everybody. I'm not saying that you know for you to be uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, paranoid of everybody. No. But this one right here, y'all need to this. This new uh, journey. That's why it says pay attention to your circle. You feel me? Yeah. Cause there's somebody that's around you who don't mean you, who don't mean you uh, no good. You feel me? With this new journey, you need to keep this between you and God, between you and spirit, whatever you resonate with. Keep this between you and spirit. You feel me? Yeah. This ain't meant for you to be sharing with everybody. You feel me? Nah. It's time for y'all to do things differently than you did it before. Because we also have mind expansion here. You feel me? This mind expansion says unblock your own thinking. Allow yourself to delve into areas you would not be open to. Experience new places and situations you were too afraid to experience in the past. This is allowing yourself to expand, to do things differently. You may have this certain set of ways that you do things that you need to come up out of. You feel me? Especially because let me tell you something. It's somebody around you. It's somebody around you in your circle who knows how you do things. Yeah. They know how you do things. They know how you move. They know what you do when you get an idea or when you have a new goal or when you want to do something. They know exactly how it's going, how you're going to move. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's been studying you. This is that karmic involvement. Somebody's been watching you. Studying your every move or just they just that uh observant. They know how you move, you feel me? So it's now it's time for you to switch the game up. When your enemy knows your play that you about to make your moves, how you gonna make them? It's time it's time for you to do something different, to switch the game up on them, right? And that's what we're doing right now. We're switching the game up by expanding your mind. By no longer dealing with them same type of people. By letting go, looking at your circle and be like, yo, who is, first of all, what is, what are they doing with their, with their life? You feel me? Are they, are they doing something positive? Are they moving forward? Are they evolving? Are they taking care of themselves? Are they loving themselves? You feel me? Do they love other people? And if they not, why do you want to hang around them? You feel me? Like, why do they even deserve a place in your life? Because it's like. Leave them to let, let them, cause you are expanding. You you moving forward. You growing. You feel me? 
Yeah. See, you're ascending. You're leveling up spiritually. And a lot of us leveling up physically as well, materially as well. Mind, body, and soul. You feel me? We're leveling up. So it's time for us to, you know, you leveling up and you before you graduate. It's like, it's like we was in college or something, right? And we just graduated. And now it's time for us to move on to the next level. But you got people who still who still in the high school. They, 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 they just want to keep repeating the 12th grade over and over again. They want to stay stuck in senior year. So it's like, what the hell do we have in common? Like, <laughs> what do we have in common first and foremost? And how are how how is our frequency, how are our frequencies uh, vibing and matching up? Like, do they even blend? Do they even mesh? And I'm not saying that it's all about like, oh my God, I'm achieving this and you not that. It's not, a, it's not about the material. It's not about looking and saying that I'm better than who I'm better than whatever. It's about that frequency, right? Because if you got a person who's stuck and they don't want to grow, they don't want to move forward, they don't want to learn nothing new, they know everything they need to know, they they stuck in their ways, the frequent, and you got somebody whose mind is is expanding, they want more for themselves, they want to travel, they want to get out, they want to meet new people, they want to experience new things, you feel me? they want to learn new stuff, you know, the the, the two frequencies that are, are not, they don't match, they don't, they don't align, you know what I'm saying? And it's time for us to stop keeping people just because out of out of loyalty. Because a lot of us is loyal to you know loyal to our. We could be loyal to our detriment. You know, and when I say loyal to your detriment, that means that you're so loyal to the point where you where you keep ops around you out of a sense of loyalty. And we got to start calling a spade a spade. If you were op, you were op. You feel me? That's why it says watch. Your circle. Pay attention to your circle. You feel me? Because if somebody within your circle, it's an op. It's op. Maybe an op. Maybe an ops with an S, plural, in your circle. That you need to stop opening yourself up to. You need to stop sharing your plans with. Like I say, even if you live with somebody, to the them people who will be saying, well, I can't that because I live with somebody. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's a. I'm, I'm going to try to be nice to you. You feel me? I'm going to try to be nice to you, first and foremost. I'm not gonna try to. I'm not gonna hit you over your head with this, but but maybe you need to make a plan. You need to try to figure something out for yourself and keep it to yourself and do what you gotta do. Or if you don't see yourself leaving for the foreseeable future, you gotta learn how to start compromising, y'all. Y'all, order in the court. It is what it is. You gotta start compromising and you gotta just start dealing. With it. Sometimes, sometimes I mean, if, if that's your situation, you are gonna have to accept accept it for what it is. Either you accept it or you work on a plan to get yourself out of that situation. We don't do the victimhood over here. I keep telling y'all that. We don't do victims, okay? So either you get on board and start taking accountability for your, for your life and your actions and start at square one and building your life and try to do something to, take, to, to create a better life for yourself or you just deal with it and, and don't complain about it. You know what I'm saying? It's simple as that. Stop complaining about stuff that you don't want to change. And damn sure don't put it on the next man, next woman like it's their fault. No. We all are accountable for our, for our own lives. Yeah, we got soul tribe, but our soul tribe, we already know what the deal is. You feel me? We know we don't, we don't dump stuff on people. We may get advice. And come to them for, for, for their advice and for their opinion and for, you know what I'm saying, maybe my little little encouragement or whatever. But it's never like, oh my God, my life is da-da-da. Uh -huh. Yeah, but what are you doing about it though, yo? These are the bad habits that need to be let go of. Also, thinking negativity, you talk, you speaking negativity over your own life, yo. By you saying, I can't do nothing because I live, this is my situation, da -da -da, you've already given up. So what you expect me to do? You feel me? Order me the call. What, order, what you want me to do about that if you've already given up? You feel me? You've already said, you've already put that energy into the atmosphere that you, that you give up, that you don't want to fight for your own life, that you don't care about yourself. So what do you want me to do? I can't make you care about yourself. I can't make you love you. I can lead you to the water, but I can't make you drink. You feel me? It's up to you. What you going to do is about you taking accountability for your own life to better yourself. 
in whatever way, even if it's in a small increment, small steps, what you doing to better your own life? Even if it's little small steps. It don't have to be, you don't have to jump out the gate running or make uh, grandiose moves and make it a whole big grand production, stage production with, with uh, uh, the, the fireworks and everything like that. You don't got to do all that. You could just take it one step at a time. That's what it's about. But either way, when you're taking one step at, a step at a time, you're still working on bettering yourself. We all are work in progress. Ain't none of us perfect like that. You feel me? Nah. But let me tell y'all something right here, too. We got... Uh, Bachelorette Ghost, okay, from the uh, Manchin deck. The Bachelorette, this talks about unrequited love, pain, depression, feeling like you're in a rut, feeling sad, your health being affected because of that, because somebody's not treating you the way that you want to be treated. Yo, bro, sis, let me get my positive AF deck out right here. Yo, feeling some kind of way. Cause somebody does not treat you how you want to be treated. Yo, you got to love yourself. If they don't give you that love, you give yourself that love, yo. Oof. Somebody's feeling might be feeling left out in the cold, abandoned. That's cool. That's okay. betrayed. That's okay. We've all been left out in the cold, felt, felt, we've all felt those emotions and had those things happen to us. We felt abandoned, left out in the cold, betrayed, um, uh, like we weren't loved and we felt pain, felt like we were in a rut, rut, sadness, depression. We all felt like that. But it's what you do after, after you feel that, like to get yourself out of it because I'm just hearing don't wait on the next. And some people, if you feel like you don't have the strength and energy to do it yourself, to get yourself out of that, that mindset. Why don't you go seek help? Call a hotline. Call somebody. There's something that somebody out there that's there to help you. You feel me? But we got to start letting this stuff go. Letting these people go. And this is about people who's not making us a priority in their life. They don't care nothing about you, yo. They don't care nothing about you. They don't care nothing about your feelings. They may have been juggling you with other people. Tending to you when they want to attend to you. You feel me? Like It's like, yo, if I got time to talk to you, I'm going to talk to you. If I don't, I, I'm not going to talk to you. That's what I'm getting. Somebody could have been like, if I got time to talk to you, I'm going to talk to you. But only when I got time and making you feel like making you feel like it's something wrong with you. It's something wrong with you because you you want to be respected, you feel me? And not rejected. Sometimes rejection is protection. You need to get away from these people. And stop opening yourself up to them. It says it's cool. They can juggle, but not with you. You're nobody's second choice or afterthought. Miss us with the BS. Make them circle back when they get their ish together. To see if you're available, period. Don't wait for nobody. To, especially if they're juggling you around. Don't be waiting for nobody. Who, who they think they is. You feel me? You're ascending. You're moving on. Confirmation, yo. A big, heavy, loud. This was loud on here, too. A big, loud confirmation that we just got. You're ascending. That means you're moving on up like George and Weezy. You feel me? You are leveling up spiritually. What was important to you in the past, it will no longer resonate or relate to your to uh, your current experience. Do not resist this change. Things are changing for you. This change is, in, is inevitable. Walk into your new life. As a new person, you're becoming. You're evolving. You're not that same person who was sitting crying because somebody didn't pay you no attention. Wanted somebody to make you their they first priority. Waiting on them to, to, to give you the, the, the go ahead to put you first. No, we're not doing that, yo. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. We're not doing none of that, you feel me? Nah. That was part, that's part of the bad habits that you let go, period. You feel me? We're not doing that. We're not waiting on somebody. Can you please pay me attention today, please? No, we're not doing none of that. Don't say nothing to us, you feel me? Don't acknowledge us. Keep that same energy. Because when we leveling up, don't circle back around. See, this talk, this, this say, uh, make them circle back around when they get their itch together to see if you're available. When, when you come back around to check and see if I'm available, I'm not going to be available. You feel me? Comment down below if y'all ready to go.
Because you had your chance and you fumbled the bag, fumbled, fumbled the ball. That's your business, you feel me? That's your problem. Period. We got the time is right. Seize the day and make progress on your soul path. It's the time. This, this, is the, this is your time right now. Referencing back to the Goonies. It's our time. It's our time now. From that scene from the Goonies. If y'all haven't seen the Goonies, you might want to watch it. There's a message in there for somebody too. It's telling you not to give up on yourself. It's telling you to, to, to dream big. You feel me? Expand your mind. Stop seeing things from a, a small perspective and thinking that you only can have a little big. You, only, you don't deserve this. You don't deserve. See yourself. See the worth in yourself. And that's what we're moving on to. That's why we're elevating and ascending because we're seeing our self worth, right? We're not looking at ourselves as, oh my God, like we're not good enough, right? We're moving into this prosperity energy right here. You feel me? Yeah. The road is clear. You see, that's confirmation right there. The road is clear for us, yo. You see how the, the, everything looks just clear. I'm hearing, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Yeah. You can see clear. And there's a little rainbow that's right here. You probably can't see it right here. But there's a little rainbow that's right here. You feel me? And look at the, the unicorn horn. It's, it, it's, it's powering up. You feel me? And that to me, that symbolizes your ability to manifest. What you putting out there. Let me tell y'all something. We like this unicorn right here, right? You see this power that's coming out. It's this beam that's get, getting ready to shoot out. This is what attracts things to you. So it's like, what you put in, what are you beaming out into the universe? You feel me? What are you beaming out? Are you beaming out garbage to the universe saying, I don't, I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this. They don't love me. They don't, they don't treat me right. They don't da da da. Okay, cool. We can't, we can't control another person. We can't control them. You feel me? We can't control them. We only can control ourselves. Put out what you want to receive, not what you don't want. If you don't want people to be in your life treating you like second best and treat, treating and looking down on you, stop putting that vibe onto the universe. Start thinking about all the millions of people who could come into your life and who could bless you a million times over. And first and foremost, you got to bless yourself. and You got to love yourself. You got to respect yourself to, to say that, you know what, I don't deserve to be treated like this. I'm, I'm not going to engage with the, in this foolishness with you. You feel me? I'm not going to do that. You're not going to run me ragged. You're not going to do that. It says, a, wow. Wow, y'all. It says the gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. What we talked about in the first thing, right? I said that. Whoever this person in your circle that was coming up against you, they about to start receiving uh, issues in this area, right, with the career, and yours is about to go up, so you got you going to be having money making opportunities come to you, you know what I'm saying, or present themselves to you that you that you'll be able to take action on. Or I feel like some of y'all is create, creating y'all own uh, own opportunities. Like you ain't waiting for nobody to give you nothing. You creating your own opportunities, yo. Money is coming to your way. This is either money or this is a. Uh, um, a boost of positive energy that's coming for you. If with me, I give me the money. You feel me? Give me the money. Order in the car. Must be the money. Yeah, it must must be the money. That's what I just heard. It's like must be the money, yo. Must be the money. <laughs> the, send that money on over here. The income increasing. You feel me? We ain't got to brag. We ain't got to. We ain't got to uh, uh, get the big head. And you got cosmic attraction. Then I tell y'all cosmic attraction and what you guys are attracting. You are attracting more prosperity towards you, all right? Yeah. Those of you who've been doing the inner work, those of you who've been letting go, who've been, who've been knowing your, your, your true worth and your true value, you attract the abundance towards you, period. I am powerful. I am a powerful star drawing success to myself like gravity. I pull the cosmos. I pull from the cosmos everything I need to succeed. You see what I'm talking about, y'all? This is us taking accountability, getting rid of them, uh, them bad habits that keep us stuck and trapped, thinking that we can't be rich, we can't have love in our lives, we can't be happy, we can't be da 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 fill in the blanks, you feel me? Yes, you can, you feel me? What you putting out there, yes, you can.
you're attracting? What are you what are you attracting right now? What's what's your energetic what station your radio is on, you feel me? That's how I wanna know. I wanna know. Comment down below and let me know what station y'all radio is turned on. Is y'all radio turned on to gloom and doom? Is your radio to like and when I say radio, I'm talking about your frequency. What frequency are you putting out to the, in the universe right now? Be honest with yourself. Are you putting out, I can't have this, I can't have that, let me worry about, I don't feel good enough, so let me worry about this other person to hate on them? Or are you, are you, uh, are you, is your radio turned on to, uh, I got it going on, I'm a bad mama jam, I'm a bad mother, shut your mouth, you feel me? And the list goes on and on. 35, 35, progress, progress. Progress, progress, 35, 35. I, I, every time I see 35, I always digress to the I Ching because I work with the I Ching like almost every day for myself. And uh, I just, that's what it just put, puts me in the mind of for myself. You know what I'm saying? And y'all pay attention to your uh, the uh, symbols that you guys are getting during this time. And don't. Don't judge these symbols or these synchronicities that you're getting. Don't judge them off what somebody else say they is. Judge them off on how you feel and what they recognize and what they what they symbolize to you. You know what I'm saying? It's always somebody chiming and trying to tell you what the hell your vision meant and that and you ain't even asked them. When I mean, you got your own connection to God, you got your own connection to spirit. And God told you what they needed to tell you, exactly how they needed to tell you. You feel me? Yo, order in the court. Don't let nobody come back and tell you because y'all y'all getting downloads. Y'all getting downloads, okay? Information is coming to you. Good news is coming to you. News of inspiration. News of confirmation is coming to you. On the air, it just gives me the vibes of downloads coming to you. Psychic premonitions and all those good things. But it's like, yo... What are yours telling you? Nobody can tell you what that means to you. You feel me? Nobody can tell you that but you. So let's say if you dreamt of a spider and you wasn't scared of the spider, but somebody and you were like, yo, a spider to me means abundance. It means da da da, whatever, whatever, whatever. But then to the next man, they got they they have arachnophobia. So they're like, oh my God. A spider means fear. A spider means this. A spider means that, that, that. It don't matter what it means to them. What, it, what, does it, what does it mean to you personally? 3535 symbolizes personal growth and creativity. Congratulations for you for embracing empathy. It's a warning that you need to protect your energy and stay away from negative people who can bring you down. I'm just reading. I'm just reading random messages that I'm looking on here. Whatever, whatever uh, speaks to me, that's what I'm reading. I'm reading. Speak to me. What is it? What is that? What is that song? God is trying to tell you something. That's a song that I'm hearing. Speak to me. Speak. What is? What is it? Song and Lord, speak to me. I don't know how the hell that song goes. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh. <laughs> Stand your ground, be true to yourself, and create a life worth living. What else we got here? It reveals that moderation is the secret to true prosperity. Telling you to give up negative ideas, expand your mind. Now, my question to y'all too: What does number thirty-five, thirty-five mean to you personally in your life? Okay. Now, what I just read, I'm vibing with it. It sounds good to me. You feel me? But let's pull some extra energy here. What we got going on? Yup. It's a bully, y'all. It's a bully. Y'all got a. Y'all got some sort of bully, and, and they they coming to you. They come. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. Them same people that came up against you, yo, that bully that came up against you, 
wants to be your friend now. They're going to want to be your friend, right? Because they know that they're no, what, they're what? they're no match for you. They knew they bit off more than they could chew, period. You feel me? Coming up against you for what? What you thought you was going to do? They thought they was going to stop you. That's why they asked for receiving karma now. That's why, and like I said, y'all may hear about it through the news, through the grapevine, what these people is going through. And it is what it is, y'all. Well, I got somebody, um, somebody, people that you don't know investigating and spying on you. So somebody, y'all got somebody else around here who's investigating and spying on you for what, though? What is this about? What is this about? Is this, is this the bully? Is this the bully? Oh, oh. <laughs> look at y'all. Y'all got somebody, it's somebody who you don't know who's investigating you and spying on you. They're trying to find out about you. They want to know who you are, what you're about, where you're from. Are you single? Are you married? Do you have kids? Da, 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 da. You know, they want to find out about you. It's because this person is a, is a, it's a new love that's looking at you. And it's telling me that it's, it's, it's most likely online for most people here. You feel me? If you're not online, I don't know. You, you, I don't know what to tell you. But uh, <laughs> this kid, they can be able to watch you from afar. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Be people like, oh, is somebody spying on me? How they can't spy on me because I don't have no social media. Then bitches not talking. I'm not talking to you. Yo, order record. Use your brain. You turn your calculator on. Yo, turn it on. Take what apply. Let the rest fly. Go on, yo. New love. New love interest is in. It's got their eye on you. You feel me? Because you shining. You feel me? Because you're out here looking good. You're doing your thing. Because you're expanding. You're evolving. Yeah, we got a tower moment that's coming. Let's see what this tower moment is. I feel like this person. Yeah, this person see you as somebody that they want. Y'all got somebody. People are interested in y'all. Like all of a sudden, yo. All of a sudden, you guys are the. You guys are. I'm getting. Uh, what's that? I'm getting. You guys are inciting this powerful emotions into people. Like you guys are opening people's hearts like these are people some of these people is like yo i'm not dating nobody i'm not dealing with nobody da, 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 da. and then they, then they come across you and then like now they back in love right back right back in love again i'm, I'm thinking about that old song back in love who sings that song back in love I don't know, something. Yeah, this person is, there's somebody, y'all, y'all, let me tell you, what y'all doing, yo? Y'all got somebody, what's that long? Something with a look I'm in. I can't even think of the song. I'm back in love again. Right back, right back in love again. Who knows that song? Comment down below. Y'all, let your big bro know who sings that song. See if y'all know who sings that. That's an old song, you feel me? Y'all, but yeah. It's this new love interest, yo. It's like y'all, y'all, y'all making this person your energy, your essence. You giving, you inspiring people out here, and you guys are gonna be having more people that's interested in you, wanting to get to know you, wanting to get. Uh, uh, um, I'm hearing that song, getting to know you, wanting to know all about you. Yeah, they want to get to know you. They want to know all about you. They want to get close to you. You feel me? This person, they're seeing you with somebody, they're like, yo, I want to shoot my shot with the Seven of Pentacles. I want to shoot my shot. I want to invest in this person. This person is worth investing. They're looking at you like that, yo. Like, yo, this person right here is worth in me investing in. You know what I'm saying? Yo. And this person may be somebody who's coming out of a, a, a third-party connection or out of heartbreak and out of pain, too. I feel like y'all share that same thing in common to where you've had people that snaked you in the past. You had people that did you dirty. Yeah, that you had people that that that, that, that cheated on you or that, that that betrayed you in some sort of way. So that could be why this person, that that could be why you got this is this is somebody from y'all soul tribe, y'all. This is a soulmate here. Yeah. That's why y'all vibing on this level, right? And this is a if this union comes together, this will be. A blessed union. Look what we got right here. Six of Pentacles, yo. Empress Energy right here. And the Three of Cups. This union, whether it's a friendship or whether it's a love, yo. 
I'm getting for a lot of people, it's the love. But it could be for some people, it could be friendship. You feel me? If you ain't open to that, you feel me? But this, whatever this connection is, could go far, yo. This is equal give and take. You guys having a happy, loving, fruitful life together. You guys not only being friends, but you are uh, your soulmates. This is that soulmate reunion with the sixes and then the, the, the three of cups. You feel me? Yeah. This is a connection with another person that has a potential to bloom and blossom to be like something that you've never experienced before. And I feel like a lot of you guys deserve that. You deserve equal give and take, right? This is uh, symbolic of that prosperity that we were talking about. What you attracting, you feel me? This is that prosperity. So, you guys, this is more money. You're being blessed with the coins, too. You feel me? Yeah. You're being blessed with more abundance in your life. Your project's finally taking off. Your career finally taking off. You being more happy. You being more content. Your creative endeavors taking off. Some of y'all might be entrepreneurs. That's taking off. You feel me? You're celebrating, having fun, partying with people that love you, with who you love, meeting new people, meeting your soul tribe, meeting your soul fam. You know what I'm saying? This is all the good stuff that we want to experience, right? And that's because you didn't give up on yourself. That's because you are taking action and putting your hands on the wheel and co-creating with universe. Right? Co-creating with spirit. And you're not letting nothing that happened from the past and like or the fact that somebody told you no from the past stop you, right? And lo and behold, the people who tables is turning, right? The people who did you dirty, played you dirty, did you wrong, betrayed you, da da da. Those are the ones who are gonna be receiving bad luck. It is what it is. And they're receiving bad luck because that's what they put out there, that's what they asked for. So that's what they're getting back, period. You feel me? They place their order with karma. And that's what they're getting back. Their plate is ready to be served up. You feel me? It is what it is. And those same people who's going to see you vibing and see you high and see you looking good, see you feeling good, see you being abundant, being, uh, being uh, what do you call it? Prosperous, happy, living your best life. They're going to be want to come back and they want to be, they want to be your friend. You feel me? Yeah. Watch how the tables turn, y'all. But that's what I got for you guys for this reading. If you like it, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And if this resonated, please comment in the comment section down below. Y'all have an awesome day and catch y'all in the next video. Until then, y'all be safe. Much love and light to y'all. Y'all take care. Obrigado. Ciao.